Are you ready to supercharge your coding workflow? Google released Gemini CLI right this week, two days ago. Actually, we see it in this announcement here on the left. Cloud Code is out for several weeks, uh, if not months, but with the latest model updates, it became super boss on the internet. In this video, I will show you what these tools are and why they are like super popular. And if you are a professional web developer, digital strategist, this is something you have to care about because I think this will be the future of coding. So let's quickly dive into what uh, Gemini CLI and Cloud Code actually is. And I will go through the announcement of the official announcement of Google. Gemini CLI, your open source AI agent. Free and open source, Gemini CLI brings Gemini directly into developers' terminals with unmatched access for individuals. For developers, the command line interface isn't just a tool, it's home. The terminal's efficiency, ubiquity, and prob uh, portability make it go to utility for getting work done. And as developers reliance on the terminal and yours, so does the demand for integrated AI assistance. So that's already a super key difference. So instead of uh, having a website, let's say AI builder like um, Lovable or V0 or Bolt, so this really is a developer tool that lives in the command line interface. So I um, can quickly show that. So if basically this is my command line now, and for example, if I want to start Claude, I simply put the Claude command, command and then I'm able to use that and yeah, uh, use it as a coding assistance. So because it lives in a command line interface, um, it might be only accessible for, let's say, more advanced developers. I mean, if you are a web developer or if you are a developer in general, um, you used the command line interface, right? So if you are probably more of a consultant or a digital strategist, maybe you haven't encountered a command line interface. But this really brings the productivity boost. Um, yeah, so let's dive deeper. That's why we introduced Gemini CLI, an open source AI or agent that brings the power of Gemini direct direct into your terminal. It provides a lightweight access to Gemini, giving you the most direct path for your prompt to our model. While it excels at coding, we built Gemini CLI to do so much more. It's versatile, local utility. You can use it for a wide range of tasks from content generation and problem solving to deep research and task management. We've also integrated the CLI with Google AI's coding assistance, Gemini code assistance, so that all developers on free standard enterprise code assist plans get prompt driven AI first coding for both VS Code and Gemini CLI. Unmatched, <coughs> unmatched usage limit for individual developers. To use Gemini uh, CLI free of charge, simply log in with your personal Google account to, you, to get the free um, license. The free license gets you access to Gemini 2.5 Pro and its massive 1 million token context window. This is really, really powerful and also a big uh, differentiator from what Claude offers. As far as I know, the Claude context window is 100,000 tokens. I'm not 100% sure, but 1 million token context window is really, really, really big. So basically what you can do, you can just put your whole code base into the context of Gemini and it will just know what's going on. It has the full context of a code base. To ensure, to ensure you're, you rarely, if ever, hit the limit during this preview, we offer the industry largest allowance, 60 model requests per minute and 1,000 requests per day at no charge. Yeah, I mean, for those who use the um, uh, cloud code, uh, you run into the limits quite far unless you update to a quite pricey um, tier. Uh, but it seems really that Google wants to win the developers and offers a very, very generous um, yeah, way to use the models. If you are a, prof a professional developer who needs to run multiple agents simultaneously, or if you prefer to use specific models, you can use Gem uh, Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, so basically the APIs itself. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's some more details about it. <clears throat> yeah, but it's out there and it's clearly that Google is building a competitor to uh, Claude Code, which is an atrompic, atrom at 
Anthropic uh, product. Uh, I'm personally using uh, Claude Coat um, since a um, couple of weeks now uh, and super powerful, very happy it, and it supercharged my, um, yeah, my productivity. So my experience with these tools is really, uh, yeah, it makes, it, they make me super productive, uh, multiple times uh, more productive than with just cursor AI or other AI assistants. Uh, why? Well, basically, uh, they are very good at coding. And if you already have an existing code base, so basically, if the uh, Claude Code or Gemini can look up uh, what you already did and what patterns you have and what the architectural style is already, yeah, it, it basically takes away the typing for you and you just define a high level uh, concept. Uh, you can then also plan out very detailed features. You can explain what you expect and then you just let it run. In my experience, it's also very important to have a super robust testing and re reviewing infrastructure. So obviously, you, you, code, uh, you code, you should review it locally and also test it. But then also, um, um, if you push it to um, yeah, your, your staging systems, I think um, yeah, uh, you, you should really have that in place um, when you push the code out into production environments. However, I want to even go a little bit deeper because I think it's very, very important to understand what these new tools can actually do. And for this, I will use Excolidra to yeah, kind of explain uh, what's going on behind the scenes with this tool from a conceptual point of view. So uh, let, let's take um, cloud code. So let's assume this is cloud code, the software. Uh, so you basically run it um, in, in, in your command line. And of course, uh, it can, um, let's make that even bigger <clears throat> or zoom in a little bit. So of course, it can access your file system, right? So basically, you would run cloud code in your command line and it will allow you to access your local file system. And by the way, um, it has a very sophisticated permission system. So it's not that when you run cloud code that it's immediately accessing all <laughs> your hard drive and searching through it. No, you have to granularly give more permissions to certain sub um, folders and also commands. So creating files, listing files in a folder, etc. And so. <clears throat> They put quite a decent time into uh, making these permissions um, as, as secure as possible. And then it not only has access to the file system, but it also has um, access to commands. So as I said before, for example, it can do dears, it can list files. It can also run a git command. It can also run npm commands. So you see where this is going. <clears throat> so it's not only aware of your code and file system and can create files, but it can actually build, um, generate stuff um, using existing tools. So, uh, and not only that, you can also integrate MCP servers. Um, so yeah, so it also can access MCP servers. So let's say, uh, you have a remote database or you have some kind of service which, um, for example, logging service, you can advise Gemini, hey, or Google Cloud, hey, check out the logs. Uh, this is hosted on this server using the MCP server. And it will just find it out how to use it and, yeah, will give you feedbacks uh, to do that. Not only that, it can also access the internet. So basically it can look up stuff, for example, documentation, it can even look up, um, yeah, um, basically search. Um, so yeah, if you want, for example, migrate a website, uh, you can just point, uh, fetch data from your old website, and then yeah, advise it to use that content to regenerate whatever you want to generate. So it's really not only about generating code, but actually, these tools have now access to all these different tools. And obviously, Claude Code 
could live inside your IDE of um, your preferred ID. So what I do quite a lot is I have cursor, cursor AI or, or VS Code here. And I use Cloud Code uh, in the terminal of this tool. And I see immediately what's happening um, with the files. I can review it, etc. And it's super powerful to work it that way. And not only that, so <laughs> if you are very advanced, what you can do, and um, so, okay, uh, let's, let's do that. So now in, in, this, um, in this visualization, you only have basically one code cloud agent running. But what you could do is you can run one and you can say, please spin up me multiple sub agents to speed things up. So if you have a very complex um, code base, so there's it's like a manager agent, and then this one's maybe one will create files, the other one will look up uh, the logs, or the other one will prepare some content and fetching data all in parallel. So this is like a um, like a gentic sub agent. Um, way of coding. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with that yet. I haven't tried it. Um, I saw a couple of very interesting e uh, videos on how to do that. But you see already where this is going to. So it will in not only increase simple file creations, but it will actually span out multiple agents working in parallel, doing its own stuff. Not only that, and this is actually something I did in the, in the past, so basically, you can do the same multiple times in parallel, right? So basically, uh, you can say, okay, I have one project, like whatever, maybe a microservice, you work on that, multiple sub-agents, but then you can also work on the front end, or you can work on another uh, micro, uh, microservice. So traditionally, this was maybe handled, this was maybe handled by one team, uh, this one was maybe handled by one team with multiple developers, but now I have one single, um, yeah, advanced or uh, senior engineer can run that in parallel, review it in parallel. Man, this is crazy. I think this is the future of development. I really think that this is not only a gimmick. If you're experienced in software development, this is, it will really, really, really push um, things forward. Yeah, with that said, a uh, quick summary. Try it out yourself. Uh, as I said, um, Gemini CLI is for free. Um, Code Cloud is also, I think, free for, for a very limited usage. Um, try it out. I'm super curious what you're thinking about it. If you like content like that, uh, consider subscribing this channel. And see you in the next one.